Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Easy Now, and you guys are awesome. In this video I wanted to show you guys and talk about my Void Walker Warlock. Now since the buff to them, I have had so much fun using this class setup. The improvement to scatter grenades mixed with the nothing manacles makes this so much fun to use and with the energy drain bonuses too, it just feels like a really good class to use in both PvE and PvP. So I'm going to be showing you my Warlock setup, the subclass, the weapons I use, the armors I use and all that great stuff. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you use this setup? Do you use Voidwalker? Do you want to? What do you use on your class setup? What's different to mine? So first and foremost, the subclass setup for Voidwalker. Let's have a look. So obviously I'm going to be using scatter grenades. They're great now and with nothing manacles, I feel like the other two grenades are pointless. For my jump, I use focus burst most of the time. I do switch up to use blink occasionally in PvP, but I definitely want to start learning how to blink properly and be able to get in close with my shotgun, which I'll talk about in just a little while. For my Nova Bum, I use the Shatter where it splits into three projectiles. Pro pro tiles. I feel like this is the better of all the ones that you can actually choose and for PvP it just gives you that bit more chance where you might catch a, a person who's trying to fly away or run away. For the energy drain I use Soul Rip. Damaging an enemy with energy drain reduces the cooldown of Nova Bomb meaning I get my Nova Bomb more often. On top of that I always switch up what my armor recovery and agility are but this is what I currently have it set up to do. For the effect here, I use the Hunger, increases the duration of that energy drain effect. Now, as many using this for PvE for the challenge of the Elders Grenade Challenge. Other than that, I probably would use Angry Magic for tracking enemies with your Nova Bomb, even those three that I fire that split up have more chance of hitting someone. In this last perk, I use Embrace the Void. Killing enemies with your Nova Bomb or any grenade triggers your energy drain, meaning you get those grenades back faster, you get those melees back faster. And on top of that, it also restores your health. Very useful across the board, especially in the PvE challenge of the Elders for grenades, because using your Nova Bomb as a panic, you will get your health back, you can run away. Same with grenades as you're constantly chucking them everywhere, left, right and center. And it's also pretty good for PvP too. Now first and foremost my max light level on my warlock is 333 if I'm using the correct weapons and I believe it's like two light levels off 334 uh, so with this setup that I use I have a tier 5 4 minute cooldown on my nova bomb and I also have a tier 5 25 second cooldown on my grenades and with the energy drain being apparent so much now these grenades can come back incredibly quick. Now for my armors, I'm actually collecting loads and loads of different armors with different perks and such things so that I can interchange whatever I need to when I need to. So this is what I'm using currently. I have my Spectre Haliatus hood, which has gained super energy on grenade kills with that discipline being so high and the scatter grenades coming back so quickly, I could get more super while using that. The Nothing Manacles are a mainstay and are pretty much on my character 24-7 and I have increased reload speed with rocket launchers for that truth over there you see on the other side. I have a Spectre Haliatus robes over here for increasing the amount of um, auto rifle ammunition you can carry and it reduces incoming solar burn damage or if I ever do use Radiance I can change that to the solar armor. I also have this one over here which I use for my pulse rifle ammo which is exactly the same as the one I have or sidearm ammo if I wish to. And then I have a bunch of other ones which I'm collecting for hand cannon, pulse rifle again, scout rifle. I often put that on when I'm using my meter multi-tool and when I'm using storm trance. For the feet, I have a whole bunch again. At the moment, I have increased the amount of shotgun ammunition you can carry and increased agility. That shouldn't be on. Oh, it can only be on. I thought I was, I was thinking about something different. So at the moment, I'm just using that for the shotgun ammunition. And I'm looking to obviously get through and have a look at different leg pieces so that I'm not always having the same thing with increased agility for uh, double kills. I have my Wolf's One, Wolf's. <laughs> Wolf's Wood Bund for Iron Banner next week, but it also is the only thing that I can use that's fully leveled up for increasing your Crucible reputation gains. So obviously, I've been using that for Crucible. And then my Leaf of the Bleeding Tree, which is nothing other than an intellect monster. So obviously, I have that equipped with a bunch of other 
different artifacts. Now let's get on to the weapons. So my my favorite gun to use is the Her Memory. And um, my one, this not it's not the best perks in the world, but you know it's got stability perks and it's got um, hip fire perks. I just use it because it feels good, it looks good in Chroma, and I just love the gun. I fell in love with it, so that is my reason for actually using this weapon but i do have a bunch of other weapons i have my Cirrus ari 41 which has max stability so it makes it an absolute monster i have Cirrus dis 47 fully auto hawk moon obviously a great weapon shadow price with i believe two stability perks and a bonus accuracy perk in hot swap I have Final Duty with Head Seeker, and um, this would be a really good Trolls weapon because it obviously has Last Resort as well, and all this great stuff. Also looks very, very cool. I have the Grasp of Malak, which I use quite often with Head Seeker and Perfect Balance, I believe. The Villainy, the one you buy from the future War Court vendor with Glass R4 and Head Seeker. My Doctrine of Passing, which I kind of just stopped using for a while because I wanted to try out other weapons, but I'm going to get back into using this. And obviously, it has Perfect Balance and the um, Counterbalance perk, I believe. Right, let me have a look. No, Persistence and Counterbalance. That's that's right. So, other than that, I have my Meter Multi Tool. Obviously, if you're not playing with Meter Multi Tool, then you're doing it wrong. Now, onto those shotguns that I was talking about. I have three different shotguns. I use the Stolen Wheel so much. People really underestimate this weapon. No, it's a PvE weapon. I use this all the time and annihilate people with it. It has um, Re Rescue Mag. I couldn't remember the name of that, which gives you your ammo back when you are hurt. Uh, more range and impact and increased recoil in accurized ballistics. I use reinforced barrel to increase that range and reduce stability. But you know, you don't really need stability. And then surrounded, this weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Pretty useless perk for PvP, but I really do like the fact that this is set up to have two extra range perks and rescue mag. People really, really underestimate this weapon. I have my Dregs Promise, which I use quite often when I can, when I'm not using the truth, because it's so much fun to use and just awesome. Like, try it out. It's definitely a lot of fun. I have my Crow's Eye just to really annoy people to be shot by this little, tiny little cute weapon. Look at it. Oh, so cute. I have the 1000 yard stare with unflinching and eye of the storm and snapshot 2 i'm not a great sniper but you know it's decent perks and it's one i often use i use the patience and time occasionally just for nostalgic reasons i have a godlike jabba hockey d sidearm with reactive reload and hand loaded and feeding frenzy awesome absolutely awesome um, we have this new weapon that I got recently, the Panzer Ray. It's got Rangefinder, Hidden Hand, and I believe it had some stability perk. Yeah, Injection Mold right there for stability. So pretty cool weapon. I think I might give that a go. And then we have Conspiracy Theory with D for Rangefinder. And this weapon kills with this weapon. Have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. Um, I haven't upgraded these yet. And Rifled Barrel, yes, for increased range and slower reload. Pretty cool weapon. Like it a lot. Um, party Crasher plus one with not that great of perks, but I just kept it because it's a Party Crasher. But it does have increased range. Now for the heavy, I mainly go with the truth now. I've never really liked the truth, but I do see the benefits of using it in PvP. If I don't want to waste an exotic spot, I go to my Harrod Quillum's Terminus, my Suras JLB 42 with grenade and horseshoes, and my Objection 4... Um, LMG which I recently got and really really like. In terms of the shader I am using rose gold. I wanted like a pinky colour to match the purple of the nothing manacles and obviously the blue chroma sets it off nice. So I also use my void walker emblem. So that is my void walker. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Hit me up, tell me what you think, tell me what I should change, if I should change anything. Tell me about my weapons, my setup, my armors, and, you know, have a nice day. I have been easy now, and you guys have been awesome. And what would be awesome is if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and of course, that like button. You help me out so much with your support, I love you all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah.